Thanks for dropping by. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to play Hurry Through the Grapevine by Credence Clearwater Revival. A fun one to play with a cool lick, all open chords. It's perfect for beginners. Welcome back to Relax and Learn Guitar. I'm Kevin. I've got Maggie May here for this amazing lesson we're going to cover. My wife Vicky's behind the camera. Hello. We've got some treats ready for the dog. So let's get started on this amazing uh, CCR version of a great song. So first of all, we're in standard tuning where we're using all open chords for this great little tune. Uh, the reason I also like this one is because of this very cool lick at the beginning of the song, kind of the main lick through the whole song. It's built around, uh, well, let's start by playing a D chord. But you're gonna lift up your middle finger when you're playing this D chord, and we're not gonna worry about this high E string. You can actually kind of mute that if you want to with the kind of fat part of your ring finger here. So you have... So let's cover the lick first. The beginning of the song uh, all starts out with uh, Very cool. And the reason I'm saying to play this D chord and then lift up your middle finger, we're gonna use our middle finger to kind of play the lick with this. So the most important part here is to strum just strings four and three. If you also get string two in there, it's no biggie. But you want to focus on strings four and three in the middle of the guitar here. So you have that shape with your middle finger lifted up. So you have da 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 da. Please hold. Sorry about that, guys. We've learned just to kind of roll with it around here. Relax and learn guitar. So for this lick, we're going to focus on strings four and three. Uh, so that fourth string's played open. You have a da 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 da. So, one, two, three, four, five. I'm putting my middle finger down onto the third fret of that fourth string. And then back to an open fourth string. This is the first part of the lick. Then you have three quick downs. One, two, three. Then you're gonna use that middle finger again and fret the third fret of that fourth string, but then you're gonna go down to the second fret of that fourth string with your index finger. So all together we have. Very cool, he plays that a couple of times before the song starts. So for the chords for this song, you're going to do a D minor. You're going to do an A7. A7 chord is basically, here's an A chord. You just lift up your middle finger. I fret it with my middle finger on the fourth string, second fret, open third string. And then I fret with my ring finger on the second string, second fret. It's an A7 chord. You also need a G. You can play that with three fingers or four fingers, whatever you like. And then we also have a B minor chord. So if you can play a full bar chord there, great. Uh, if you wanna check out a lesson I've done on making those uh, bar chord minor chords a lot easier, Vic will leave a link up here for you to check out when you're done with this lesson. But you'll need to have a B minor chord. If you wanna, you can play it this way. Instead of barring the whole thing, you can just bar strings one and two on the second fret for that B minor. And those are all the chords you'll need. So a strum pattern for this tune, we're gonna stick with just one strum pattern here. Starting on that D minor chord, we're just gonna do quarter notes down up strums. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Down up, down up, down up, down up. Now later on I'm going to talk about the importance of palm muting during this song, but for right now just focus on the strum pattern. One and two and three and four and. And uh, to kind of step it up a little bit, 
you can accent the second and fourth beat of the strum pattern. So you make those a little bit louder than the others. So you have this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So for this verse, we're gonna start on a D minor. I am gonna uh, sing this a little bit to get the point across, uh, kind of telling you where the chord changes are too. Now, uh, John Fogarty, amazing voice, that guy's voice on this record with the gravelly gruffness and the really highs he gets is amazing. Um, so it's just approximation. <laughs> Remember, we're gonna do uh, down up strums here. And we're gonna stress that second and fourth beat. Starts on a D minor. And this is the, uh, that you're wondering how I knew about your A7 to make me G. So D minor. And when he says, plans to make me blue. So if you listen to the record, those are like when the cymbal crashes come in, just do a, just kind of exaggerate that first down strum on the G's um, to kind of uh, give it a little bit of spice here. Bet you're wondering how I knew about your plans to make me blue. Some other guy you knew before. Two of us guys, you know I love you more. So that's the kind of first part of the verse there, just D minors, A7 and Gs. Then it's the, took me by surprise. That's where the B minor comes in pretty quickly, just one time here. Took me by surprise, I must say G. And I hit that G, the first strum on an up. I think it just works out better that way. Took me by surprise, I must say. When I found out, is D minor, found out yesterday. So I like to do up strums on those G's here at the end of that verse. Ooh, ah. Then we get into the chorus. I totally remember this song based on the uh, Claymation California Raisins commercial that was pretty much beamed into all of our homes on television in the 80s. Um, I just kind of associate with that, but it's so much more than that. So definitely listen to this Credence version. That was a catchy tune back then. Oh yeah, I mean, we're still talking about it. It's like the genius of marketing. So anyway, so for this chorus, we're going to uh, just be focusing again on D minor, G. He's gonna go back and forth on a D minor and a G. So same strum pattern. Uh, let me talk about the palm muting here a little bit. Um, so palm muting, if you haven't done that, is when you use the fat part of your palm right here and it rests actually directly on your strings. And that is a way to, uh, it just keeps the strings from ringing out. So here it is without palm muting. Which is fine, you know, start there. But if you palm mute it slightly, then when you stress those G's, they stand out even more. So the uh, chorus is, heard it through the grapevine. And the grapevine, he kind of stresses that strum as well. So D minor, heard it through the grapevine. So palm mute it, and then let it ring out on the down strum of vine. Heard it through the grapevine. Not much longer would you be mine. Same idea, palm mute a little bit, and then let those down strums ring out on those stresses. Ooh, I heard it through the grapevine. And I'm just about to lose my mind, honey, honey, yeah. And then put that lick in there. It's, that lick just makes the song because it kind of breaks up in between that verse and that chorus. And so from there, he does a couple more verses and choruses with that little lick in between there uh, to wrap up this amazing song. Can you tell I'm a fan? So enjoy that one. Uh, to check out another Credence Clear on a Revival song that is just really, really good, check out this lesson for a little Have You Ever Seen the Rain? Enjoy that. And as always, from Vicki and Maggie and I, thank you guys for your support and your views here on YouTube. Much appreciated. And remember, you're never too old to learn. Thank you.